What is up, guys? Welcome on back to Auto Intel Daily. I've been driving the car. I haven't driven in a while. Uh, the two series, man. It's been a it's been a minute since I uh, take this thing out. I I almost feel bad because it it sits so sits so much. But um, in today's video, I got to talk about uh, an update to some of the stuff we were talking about now with um, emissions and uh, you know the cafe standards and, and all of that. And we're going to get into all of that right after this. So welcome on back to Auto Intel Daily. If you didn't know, we currently have this giveaway that we're doing with our main channel, TK's Garage, as well as here at Auto Intel Daily with a sponsorship with Goodies Popcorn on a Ram 1500 Laramie. It's got every bell and whistle, every feature you could possibly think of. If you want to see what the truck looks like, it is pinned on uh, TK's Garage Instagram, and there are videos about the giveaway over on TK's Garage as well. Um, if you want to win that truck, it's very simple. You pick up a box of popcorn. There's six individual microwave poppable popcorn packages in the box uh, from Goodies Popcorn. The giveaway would only be possible if it was, if it, you know, because of Goodies uh, Popcorn sponsoring the truck. It's the only way that it would happen. Um, right now, over the weekend, they're matching because we have another giveaway going on right now with OBD Tech. Now, OBD Tech makes little scan tools. This one, they have one that has a long cable that plugs in, and they have other ones that just work with your phone, right? They're just like little OBD plugs, and it will read like codes and all of that stuff for your vehicle. So they're doing that, and they were doing 200x entries when they started the giveaway for the Ram 2500 Bighorn. It is gas. It is not a diesel 2500, so it does have the 6.4 liter Hemi in it. But they did that. So Goody's Popcorn comes back and goes, eh, I need to... uh." We need to match this. Uh, we need to match this 200x, <laughs> at least for the weekend, right? And I'm like, okay, uh, we'll pop a video out on TK's garage and a video over here at Auto Intel Daily and let them know. So, if you want to jump in on it, you get 200x entries. Whether you're going for the Ram 2500 or you're going for the Ram 1500, you could pick up popcorn or you could pick up the OBD scanner or you can pick up the extra entries option that is in there to win either one of those trucks. Um, it's very simple. Uh, I had somebody ask me about shipping and stuff on the popcorn. It's usually about 10 business days for you to get it. And uh, the OBD uh, plugs, I believe, are right around the same time. So pretty, pretty standard. But there you have it. I want to thank both of them for, you know, sponsoring the channels and allowing us to be able to give back and do these kind of giveaways with you guys. Because if it wasn't for them, we couldn't do it. So major shout out to Goodies Popcorn and maybe major shout out to OBD Tech for uh, sponsoring the channel and allow us to give away these awesome trucks to you guys. You can uh, join or get into it by going to tksgarage.bigcartel.com. There will be a link in the description down below. You can just click it. tksgarage.bigcartel.com for you to uh, pick something up and enter. The Ram 1500 will be announced on Christmas Eve. The Ram 2500 is on January 5th of 2026. Anyways, good luck to everybody. Thanks. Now let's get into the video. All right. So Sean Duffy does this interview uh, day before yesterday on CNBC. He's now done another one on Fox. Uh, he did another one on Bloomberg. But so did uh, Caroline Levitt talking about what they want to do in terms of this. And the thing that really hit me the, the most was what the manufacturers were saying after the meeting with, with uh, President Trump. Now, I haven't run that full thing here yet. I'll probably drop it as it's an hour long video, man. I'll probably drop that here for you guys at some point this weekend if you guys want to see it. But I got to be honest, man, this is absolutely huge news. And, it's, and, and like I said before, and I've talked about it over on TK's Garage, it's it's a, it's a multi-pronged approach, right? You can't just come at it from executive orders. There had to be legislation. So they had, so they went after it with a, you know, a, with the, damn, what do they call those things now? I can't remember. Well, they were going after the rules where the EPA submitted it to Congress 
Um, and then they went after it with legislation. There was parts of the big, beautiful bill that, that addressed some of this crap, right? Um, with the EV mandates and the, and the EV tax credits. And, and it's just, it's a multi-step process. And now there's more legislation pending, right? And the reason why all of it matters, why it's all important, is because you have to have that multi-pronged approach to go after something like this, right? Because if it was just the president, if it was just Trump signing an executive order to get rid of, um, you know, all of these standards and, and make, make diesel deletes legal, like do all of that, right? If it was just him, if he just signed it, it's all only him that's doing it. If that was the case, the next president that comes in, if, if they don't agree with what you know, Trump wanted to do, they could change it with the stroke of a pen. With legislation, with rule changes, it's it's different. So they've attacked this thing now from the Department of Transportation. They've come at this now from the Environmental Protection Agency. You have that endangerment finding getting pulled, okay? Which I, I hear, I was like, why? They, they said that they were gonna have this done in really short order, but now I can get, I understand why they were waiting and doing what they were doing because they're getting some of this other stuff done and then pull that endangerment finding to be like, oh yeah, and that endangerment finding, yeah, that's gone too. So the whole basis for all of this entire climate scam is gone. So it is a multi-pronged approach. Now what's gonna change? Well, seeing some of the stuff that's come out from Antonio Filoza, some of the stuff that's come out uh, from Farley at Ford, they're hitting the they're hitting the ground running with this, and the fact that the president now, the fact that the president is is um, you know doing his thing, I don't I don't you know in terms of saying we should need to change the rules and allow these little cars and these little trucks uh, on our roads in the U.S. and DOT is changing the rules. I don't think that that's just it, right? Because he's looking at affordability, right? It's like the they have we have little shit cars here in the United States already, like the Mitsubishi Mirage. That thing is a little piece of crap, all right? Or what is it, Q4, whatever they call that damn thing, the itty little bitty $10,000, $12,000 Mitsubishi crap car, all right? Um, but it, it is what it is. It's a great little car to get around in the city um, if you're just like in a city like New York and you don't care if somebody hits a bumper, scratches it, sideswipes it, you're just, nah, it's a, it's transportation. It's not something that you're trying to have that's supposed to you know, look nice. Right. So seeing that and, and seeing what he's doing with the rule changes, seeing what Farley has said, knowing that Ford is already testing deleted diesel trucks on the road. And what I mean by deleted diesel I mean factory, none of this crap. No EGR, no DPF. And I know you're going to say, well, those are for... The I've, I've seen the comment a billion times. No, it's not for the military. The military doesn't order King Ranch trucks deleted, okay? They order butt-naked crap work trucks. That's what the military orders. They're not ordering... Maybe, maybe on the best day they get to like an XLT trim, all right? Like, you're not... You're, you're not getting a you're not getting a loaded Ford diesel truck deleted for the military. Sorry, I don't care. All right, I, I've never seen one, uh, and I can tell you. And, I, and I've been on a lot of bases, and I've done this. I've had this company and companies for a long time, and I've never seen one. So, everybody that keeps messaging me and telling me it's for the military, no, it's not. They're testing them for consumer. They're doing active emissions testing to show the government that, hey, look, we don't need this burdensome, expensive crap on these vehicles. We need you to adjust the rules and what can be come out with whatever X, Y, and Z with Knox so that we can come out with this, get better reliability, uh, give better value for the consumer, and get better gas mileage or better diesel mileage out of these trucks. That's what it is. That's what they're, that's what they're doing. They're already doing this stuff. And now that this has come into effect, right, it's going to allow Ford, it's going to allow General Motors, it's going to allow Stellantis to get back to, which Stellantis is already building the stuff that we want, okay? This is just going to accelerate that. It's just going to accelerate it. So let me know what you guys think, though, in the comment section down below. I, I just, I think it's, I, I think... 2026 is going to be such a huge year for announcements, you know, which will be 2027 model years, right? 
but it's going to be such a huge year for announcements on vehicles that are coming changes in emission systems and i can't wait to watch all the climate crybabies bitch and moan non-stop i've already watched the the news clips on what is it ms now <laughs> and some of the other ones where they're crying over cafe standards please miss me with this crap miss me with that anyways until next time thank you guys very much for watching i truly appreciate it and as always, stay petty, my friends.